So we learned how to create quizzes and we also added our first question which was a multiple choice question. Let's continue adding more questions now. Let's add another multiple choice question which also needs an image. So let's say you have this multiple choice and there is an image and you would like the students to identify whose image is it or what does that image indicate. So let's say my question is who is this famous Indian personality okay and now I would like to add an image now you can see there is this icon here which allows you to add image there is a similar icon here also you can click on either of these so what I do is I'm going to click on this now there are several options from where you can add the image it may be through your own system it may be taken from the camera it may be from some external URL it may be through your Google Drive or it may be through a Google image search. Now I already have an image stored, so I'm going to use that. So what I'm just going to do is select that particular image and this is going to upload it and add it to the form. Right. So we add the options here and we all know who this person is. So my first option is Virat Kohli. The second option is Sachin Tendulkar. The third option, let's say, is Kapil Dev. And the fourth option, let's say, is Virendra Seva. As simple as that. After that, of course, we go to the answer key. We select the right answer. We assign it some points. So let's assign it one point. And if you would like to add an answer feedback, you can do that here. You click on Done. And now you simply click on required if you want to make it a mandatory question. Now let's add another question of a different type. So let's try to add a question which has check boxes. So this is the case where there may be multiple correct answers. So let's say my question is which of these are input devices? So Let's fill in some options. The first is mouse. The second is, let's say, keyboard. The third is, let's say, printer. The fourth is, let's say, monitor. That's it. You simply go to answer key. Let's assign it two points. There are two right answers, mouse and keyboard. And you click on done. Let's make it a required question. That's simple. Now let's try to click on another question and let's choose a short answer question here. So let's say my question is from botany define photosynthesis. That's it. So let's again make it a required question. Let's give it an answer key. So let's make it two points. Now you add a correct answer. So let's say we add process to process used by plants to convert light energy to chemical energy. Well, that's all I know about photosynthesis. Now, of course, you can give a list of correct answers here. So you can add some more answers here. So you can see uh creation of food for plants or any such other answers that you would like now if you click on this then it will mark all other answers incorrect which i do not think would be a good option so we'd not click on this and you say done now at any time if you would like to remove a question then there is this particular option which is delete you can use it to remove a question and there is this particular option which is to duplicate a question you can use either of these now there are some more types of questions that can be framed which we will discuss in the next video